Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, March 26, 2021. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. An autopsy was performed on the body of 40-year-old Vianna Sutton of Stony Hill, Nevis, on March 25, 2021, by resident pathologist Dr. Adrian Nunez. Dr. Nunez concluded that his death was as a result of mechanical asphyxia due to bronchoaspiration of gastric contents. No foul play is suspected. Minister of Labor in the Davis Island Administration, NIA, Honorable Spencer Brandt, has revealed that almost $4 million in severance payments have been disbursed on Nevis. The Labor Minister was at the time speaking at the sitting of the Nevis Island Assembly at Hamilton House on March 23, 2021. Up to date, some $3,803,000. $411.36 have been paid to persons for severance. While that is a significant sum, Mr. President, the balance is still much higher than that. And I'm hoping and I'm appealing that we can see a quick resolution to this matter, Mr. President. The minister said, according to statistics from the Department of Labor, between 2020 and March 2021, severance payments have been made to 351 persons, albeit some have only received partial payment. The information would show, Mr. President, that in 2020, some 802 persons would have applied for their severance. And out of that 802 persons, Mr. President, some 351 persons would have been approved for their severance. While there would have been 351 persons who would have been approved for severance, based on this latest statistics, that these persons have not received all of their monies. They would have received a portion of their severance payment. It means, Mr. President, that we are still, we still have pending some 451 persons from 2020 applications who would not have been approved by severance. And this is troubling, Mr. President, because persons would have been made redundant early in 2020. We have had a significant amount of time that would have passed, and many persons are still waiting. I am hoping, Mr. President, that we can see a quick resolution to these outstanding severance payment and these outstanding balance for those persons who would have received their initial payment. He said having persons waiting for such a significant period of time without payment or with only some of their monies is a painful situation that he hopes will soon be resolved. The majority of those filing for severance would have been made redundant from the closure of the tourism sector due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Still to come. If you're out of work right now, the best way for you to ensure that we can get back to work and get back to normalcy is to take that vaccine. The details after this break. I will take the vaccine. I will take the vaccine. I will take the vaccine. Because being vaccinated is the best way to beat the pandemic. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. This message was brought to you by the Department of Public Health, Nevis. Welcome back. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis has moved to strengthen the Federation's gaming industry and, in so doing, protect the nation's international reputation as a responsible member of the global community with the passing of the Gaming Control Bill 2021. The Gaming Control Bill 2021 provides for the effective and comprehensive regulation of the gaming industry within St. Christopher and Nevis and for other incidental matters 
matters. It calls for the establishment of a gaming commission which will replace the existing gaming board. The second reading of the bill was moved on Thursday, March 25th sitting of the National Assembly by Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris. According to the Honorable Prime Minister, the moving of Gaming Control Bill 2021 forms part of his Team Unity Administration's mandate of promoting good governance. The Gaming Control Bill 2021 had its first reading on March 18, 2021. The Ministry of Health will be hosting another COVID-19 vaccination clinic. This Saturday, we will be having a special vaccination clinic at the Charlestown Health Center from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. But at any day during the week, that is Monday to Friday, you can go to your health center in your local community and get vaccinated. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, was speaking at his monthly press conference held at the Cabinet Room of the Social Security Building at Pinnis on Wednesday, March 24, 2021. And the Senior Minister of Health is encouraging persons to get vaccinated. By you taking the initiative, no appointment is necessary. You can just walk into your local health centre, get vaccinated. What you're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is that you are keeping yourself your families, your island, safe. We are aware that there is a tremendous amount of misinformation in the public sphere. And many people have been saying they're not going to take a vaccine, they don't know what's in the vaccine. They, one lady told me that it's designed to control people's minds and you hear all kinds of things. I'm urging our people, please, to let good sense prevail. If you're out of work right now, the best way for you to ensure that we can get back to work and get back to normalcy is to take that vaccine. Premier and the Senior Minister of Health in the Davis Island Administration, the Honorable Mark Brantley. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing. Transform. Embrace. 